Hey guys, this is Jonathan from Fitness for Freedom. Today we are going to go through an exercise program that you can use to help you improve your ankle mobility. Ankle mobility is really important and it's an often overlooked part of many exercise programs. So today we're going to go through a follow along program that I think is a great warm up uh, routine before you're doing a leg workout, especially if your leg workout involves an exercise like deadlift or squats or something like that. Okay. So the ankle is really, really interesting because it moves in all different types of directions. So you can dorsiflex it, plantar flex it, we can invert it and evert it. Now, even though it moves in all these directions, really we wanna keep it as stable as possible when we're moving it laterally from side to side. So we don't really, that's usually not a movement that we want to be able to do or we wanna to try to limit it. But we're really interested in moving our foot forward and back because that's where most of the mobility is most important. Just think about every time you uh, take a stride when you walk and you're pushing off so that ankle uh, mobility is really important when we do that push off part or if you're doing a squat where you're going down it's really important that you have the mobility to actually let yourself sort of squat down okay so that's why this is such an important thing to to work on so to start like anything uh, like any exercise we'd like to warm the muscle up first so what we're going to do is just um, dorsiflex it and plantar flex, flex it maybe 10 or 12 times Okay, so as we're doing as we're doing this, just kind of slow and controlled, get the blood flowing to the muscle, make it a little bit more pliable, so that when we take it through some of the stretches that we're going to do, they're a lot more likely to stick. Okay, so now that we've done about maybe 12 or 15 there, we're going to go to the other side. Okay, so you'll probably get to see your range of motion here uh, as you flex it, uh, as you actively flex your foot in each direction, and if you can tell I'm not sure if you can tell on the camera here but you'll see that my left ankle is actually not as good or not as flexible as my right ankle so maybe um, as a practitioner of myself I would want to spend a little bit more time doing this uh, doing these mobility exercises on my left left side okay so good that's how we're going to do that so now it's a little bit warm the first exercise that I like to do is actually the assisted squat. So you've, if you've watched our hip mobility follow along program, you've seen this exercise here already, but we're going to do it just a little bit different in that I want you sitting back, keeping the weight in your heels, and then I want you to shift or and pull your body forward so that the weight's kind of on the balls of your feet. And as you're doing that, I want you to push your heels down at the floor, or really try to push your heels down to the floor. And then we're going to fall back and then pull it up again and just keep pushing the weight down in your heels, okay? And as you're doing this, um, you'll notice that uh, it gets easier and easier. And as it gets easier and easier, take try to use the pull less and less. And as you use the pull less and less, you'll start to feel more and more of a stretch through your ankles as you as you shift shift forward. Okay, so we're looking for about three to five second holds. I was going a little bit fast there as I was explaining things. I guess I was just a little bit excited. Um, as it were, so we're just gonna slow down just a little bit here. Okay, so that's good. So this is a good stretch. You should be feeling it back here in the, um, the soleus part of your ankle. So now we're going to shift down. Okay, we're going to work on our plantar flexion mobility. So this is actually really easy. You're going to sit so that your toes, the tops of your feet are um, pressed towards the floor. Okay, and you're just going to shift your weight back so your heels, your bum is touching your heels and you're just going to push your feet into the floor and you'll feel a good stretch along the top of your feet. Okay, and then we're going to come up again and then we're going to push down again. And we'll just hold that for three to five seconds. Okay, and we'll just keep doing this. So these numbers are, they're not arbitrary, but they're a little bit arbitrary in that it doesn't really matter if you do eight, 10, or 12. What matters is, is that you do it in a relatively slow and controlled way, and you do it consistently. And then over time, what you'll notice is that you get more and more, you'll get more and more flexible as you, uh, as you do these. And this is an often overlooked part of stretching your, um, your ankles out. Now, if you're someone who is in an activity where you're jumping uh, or running a lot, then this, this type of flexibility is actually um, really important in this direction is often uh, overlooked because if you're trying to get maximum uh, plantar flexion 
out of your ankle as you jump, you're going to want, um, you want to be able to get to full, full plantar flexion. Okay. And that's good for that. And we just have one more exercise, which we're going to do standing against the wall. This last exercise is a basic soleus stretch. So you just need to be against the wall. Okay. Well, you don't have to be against the wall, but I find it's a little bit easier. You're going to keep your foot flat on the floor. So don't let your heel come up off the floor and drive your knee forward towards the, uh, the wall as best you can. Okay. And you're going to hold that for about three to five seconds. And we're going to straighten up just a little bit more. And then we're going to drive forward again. Okay. And by holding this for about three to five seconds, that's really going to allow our soleus to stretch out. Now, if you're someone who isn't feeling it very much, or you have really good, you already have relatively good range, or you can get your knee relatively close, or if you're getting knee pain, then I recommend putting your toes uh, and the ball of your foot just up on something that's elevated a little bit. So here we have just a little stick. It's about um, maybe half an inch, about half an inch thick, and I'm going to drive my knee forward. And you'll see I can't push my knee as far forward, but I'm still getting a really good stretch along the back part of my ankle in this part here, right where the soleus is. Okay, and by doing that, I don't flex the knee quite as much and I still get a really good, uh, really good stretch out of it. And this will be the last one here. Okay, now we're going to go to the other side. So it's the exact same, exact same thing. Keep your heel down and then drive your knee forward. Okay, one of the things that I noticed that, um, or one of the mistakes that most people make is that they let their heel come up off the floor when they do this. Now it's really important that you push that heel down. Otherwise you're not going to get as much, um, as much stretch out of it as you could or that it could be effective. Again, there's no point in wasting your time as you do these mobility exercises, right? Because the whole point is to have mobile ankles uh, that makes so that all the other exercises that you want to do or activities that you want to do are much, uh, much easier. Okay, we're just going to do one more here. And then that's good. Okay, so remember, as you're doing these ankle mobility exercises, we're looking for somewhere between eight and 12 repetitions, probably with three to five second holds. Uh, and then as you're doing them, take your time, make sure you're feeling a good stretch and focus on doing them properly so you get the most out of them. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our YouTube channel because we deliver content just like it every week. If you have any comments or questions about ankle mobility, please leave them in the box below. Take care and we'll talk to you next time.